Welcome. In this video, I'm going to be taking a look at this Kaiweets KM312A Smart Digital Multimeter. So this was provided to me by the distributor, but they're not compensating me for this video and they're not reviewing it before I post it. If you find this video helpful and you want to purchase one of these, I'll put a link to it in the description on Amazon. And if you use that link, it helps me out a little bit and doesn't cost you anything extra. Okay, so here's the meter. Let's pull this out. So this is about like holding a smartphone. Actually, here's an iPhone 6, and this is the meter on top of it. So here we have the leads, came with batteries. These take two AAA batteries. And here's the user manual. So let me get the batteries in here. Looks like I need a screwdriver. There we go. There's also a little plastic here over the labels. I'll pull that off. Okay, so I'm going to read through the manual a little bit and I'll pop in every once in a while if I see something of interest. Okay, these are the different parts of it. It has indicator light, display, buttons, jacks, flashlight, and the non-contact voltage detector. And here are the features. It says press and hold the power button for about two seconds to turn it on or off. Press the light button to turn on off the backlight. Press it for two seconds to turn on the flashlight. So this does have a flashlight on the backside. Press H to turn on off the data holding. It says note the data hold function is invalid in the NCV live test. It has the function button. It's says power on is in smart mode by default. Press the function button for manual mode. Press again to switch measurement modes. Press and hold the function button for about two seconds to return to the smart mode. And here are the different symbols here. It has AC voltage, DC voltage, resistance test, audible continuity test, frequency test, non-contact voltage detection, live wire detection, low battery, and double insulated. And we have on off, and this talks about how to use this. So here are the specs. The display counts is 4,000. It's powered by two 1.5 volt AAA batteries. Sampling speed is three times per second. Environmental conditions is cat at three 600 volts, pollution level two, altitude less than 2000 meters. Working temperature and humidity is zero to 40 C, less than 80% relative humidity, less than 10 degrees non-condensing. Storage temperature is minus 10 to 60 C, less than 70% relative humidity, remove the battery. Temperature coefficient is 0.1 X accuracy per Celsius. Max voltage between terminals ground earth is 600 volts. And here are the accuracy specifications. So you can read through these there as maintenance and warranty. So you definitely want to read through the safety things on here and you'd probably want to read through the whole manual, but let's get to checking this out. There's also plastic on the front, I'll pull that off. So this has an LCD display. I'll hold this down to turn on. I'll press the backlight. So I'll turn the light off here, see what it looks like. You can see the backlight. I'll turn the light off completely so you can see what that looks like. So this is what it looks like in the dark with the backlight on. If I turn side to side, I can read that. If I tilt it up, it gets at an angle where it's harder to read. So that's something to keep in mind. If you need a meter that you're going to have to put down like this and read, you could have trouble reading that. But if you read it from the side, you should be good to go. So most of the time you can just tilt it 90 degrees. So I'll hold that button. I'll press that to turn that off. I'll hold this button down to turn the flashlight on. And this has a little flashlight on it. You can see the leads here. So I think this flashlight would work great for its intended purpose. If you're, say, trying to look for a serial number on a part, maybe you dropped a screw, maybe you're trying to figure out where to connect your leads. I think this would work great for that purpose. And it's nice that it's right in the meter. It's not uncommon when I'm using a meter that I'm in a dark place and having a backlight and a flashlight on this, I think is a nice bonus. So let's check out the leads here. I'll pull the caps off and those plug into the end of the meter. The comm is black, input is red. So there we go. And here we have the leads on the other end and the wire's pretty flexible. So the smart part of this meter is the fact that it can figure out what you're trying to do. So if I press these together, it'll figure out that I'm trying to do continuity so it's beeping and the light's turning on and I can touch it to something and it will automatically measure whatever I'm touching it to. So here I have a battery, I'll touch it to this and here we have 1.608 volts. So it figured out that I'm touching a DC source and it gave us the output we were expecting. So these will slip off here and that changes the cat rating from a cat three to a cat two. So I'll take that off both of these. So these leads are very sharp, so that's nice. So now I could do something like test power outlet. And if you don't know what you're doing, don't stick things in a power outlet. I'll stick these in here. And here I got 123 volts. So now let's test some of the other functions on here. I have this old electronics kit. Let's see if I can get that on here. Okay, so now I can test these resistors here. So we got 120, 680, and this is obviously not a calibrated resistor set. There's 2.1, that's supposed to be a 2.2, 5.6. And these aren't high tolerance resistors either. So we wouldn't expect to get the exact same number, but 9.9, .9, 33K, 
100K and 470K. Oh, that did uh, 0.475M. So as you can see for a beginner, this is a very easy to use meter. So I can also do the hold. It looks like hold doesn't work when it's in smart mode. So I'll press function and I'll go to, well, I'll just be on DC volts here. Oops. So I'll touch this to a battery. I'll press H and now we're holding the value. So if you're measuring something, you can put your finger on that H, you can measure it, press the button, and then read this, like if this is in a location where you can't read it right away. So let's try the non-contact voltage detection. So here's an AC wire. So you want to hold this part of the meter up against a wire. So I'll hold it up here, and that's saying it's hot. So when I'm ready to go back into smart mode, I can just press function again, it will go into auto, otherwise I can hold it down for two seconds. Well, let me also demonstrate Hertz, which is frequency, so I'll go to that mode, and I'm just going to hook this up to AC, and you can see we have 59.9 hertz. So that's the Kiwitz KM312A Smart Digital Multimeter. I think this would be a great meter for a beginner, but also someone that just wants a small meter to, say, throw in the car. Now, this doesn't have some of the more advanced features. You can't test capacitors on it. This also won't measure current. So if you need those features, this is probably not a good meter for you. But for certain applications, those may not be needed. Now, there are times on a car where I use current, but most of the time I'm just checking voltages on things. So this would be great for that. This would also be great for if you're working on electronics projects and you want to test the value of a resistor. And in the smart mode, you can go from testing a resistor to checking for voltage on something without even touching the meter because of the smart mode. So I think that's a really handy feature. I also like the lights on this with the backlight and the small flashlight integrated into this. This will work great at nighttime or in the dark. So if you're working with the power out or working in a dark area, I like that feature of this. So that's all I'm going to cover in this video. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. If you like this video, please click like. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd appreciate it if you could do that. And thanks for watching. Until next time, goodbye.